Hey, what up? It's Eric O'Brien for Way of the Warrior. EOB getting ready for UFC in Brazil. First time in 13 years. First on the card, we start in the main event. Anderson Silva taking on the last guy to beat him, Yushin Okami. Yushin Okami on a three-fight win streak over Marquardt and Munoz, just to name a few. And of course, the win over Anderson Silva, that's all everyone's talking about. Let's just calm down for a second, because the win over Anderson Silva is actually a DQ, when Anderson delivered an upkick illegally uh, while on his back, disqualified himself, that gives Okami the win. So it's not like Yushin went out there and actually beat Anderson, which is a totally different animal. And while I think he's certainly going to be the strongest of the opponents that Anderson has felt, Maybe Chael Sonnen equally as strong, what with the PEDs and all. Um, I, I just think we're beginning to see the evolution of Anderson Silva even more so. He rolls into the UFC and blasts Chris Levin, and every time we see him, he's a very flighty fighter. Some people like him, some people hate him. Can't really argue with uh, him getting the job done, because he certainly does that. The upkick to Vitor Belfort, I mean, come on. Shogun having an up and down kind of couple of years here. Uh, he lost the title to Lyoto Machida via a controversial decision. Then he wins it back by absolutely destroying Lyoto Machida. Then he runs into the freight train that is John Jones and loses his title. Still ranked number two light heavyweight in the world. He takes on a man who has beaten him once before in Forrest Griffin. The difference is, I think Shogun's a little bit healthier now than he was back then, and Forrest seems to be losing a step uh, each fight after Anderson Silva. Forrest in his last four fights, he is 2-2. Two two. He's got a loss to Anderson Silva and a loss to Rashad Evans. He has beaten Tito Ortiz and Rich Franklin in his last two fights, so he's on a two-fight win streak, but he was a split decision against Tito Ortiz, and while he did beat Rich Franklin, it wasn't like he absolutely dominated Rich. He's a big, big guy for that weight class, and while I think he can push Shogun around a little bit, I think Shogun's aggression is going to get the better of Forrest, and I'm going to pick Shogun to win this one. Since losing the Ultimate Fighter to Roy Nelson, Brendan Schaub is undefeated. He is 4-0, technically 4-1 in the UFC. He goes for his fifth consecutive win over Big Nog, who has looked slower and slower as the years catch up to him. Those years in pride were, quite honest, brutal for the man. And you've seen it as he steps into the cage. You saw it happen with Mirko Krokop, the last guy that Schaub has beaten. All those guys with those pride years seems to wear on them. Those were some tough, tough years over in Japan, and uh, Big Nog has lost a step or two. That said, the fight's in Brazil, and I think that's going to be a big, big, huge X factor. Uh, Brendan has been talking this week about how he's not really worried and all the pressure is on Big Nog, and that's partially true, except you still have to step into that cage with a hometown, really, really loud Brazilian crowd, and I think that might actually mess with your head a little bit. Remember, you can catch all the coverage of UFC 134 online at Facebook at WOW Show, at Twitter at WOW Show, or catch the show every single week, Fridays at 6 o'clock, and the podcast goes up immediately following. Have a great weekend. We'll see you at UFC 134.